Hello fellas! I'm here to have a small liberating talk about passive income and we'll focus specifically on the case of creating passive income when the funds are limited. But first you may ask, why the look? Well, our topic may seem a little crazy for someone. Also, today there are many reputable and confident folks out there who are so serious about finance. And what do we get? When it comes to financial freedom, most people are still fucked. So let's talk about money with a little smile. I'm Jay, by the way. Nice to meet you. First, let's define it. Passive income is something that brings you money without your constant participation. So various types of side jobs are not the case here. Let's move further. When you just Google about passive income, there are a ton of ideas right on the first page, and most of them refer to business type of passive income. Vending machines, creating apps, running a YouTube channel or a podcast, writing a book. Can't say anything bad about books or business in general. I was initially thrilled about vending machines, with so many videos of people breaking into them. <laughs> but let's face it. Business is the main thing here, and only after it becomes successful, you get the chance of creating passive income out of it. Plus, it's a very skill-specific area, and it barely meets low fund criteria. Businesses are different, but to start one, you should invest hmm, pretty much time, or substantial amount of money, often both. Finally, I suppose you know that it's not a risk-free method, so entering a business, choose wisely. And we move to investment strategies. Ah, investments! What a wonderful thing! So many broke, so many rich. Okay, eyes on a target. Passive income. Where to invest to make it real? Socks, shares, S&P 500. Some stocks pay dividends. That's a nice option of passive income, isn't it? Well, speaking of stocks, surely you can make nice profits. Uh, S&P 500 index showed about 30% of annual growth recently. As for dividends, let's take one of top companies. Microsoft stock costs $310 on October 26th. Quarterly dividend is $0.62 cents, or $2.48 annually, giving Microsoft a dividend yield of about 0.8%. Alright, but if you have only $1,000 or $2,000 to invest, does it make a difference to you? Probably not. And again, stock markets is not just profits. From time to time, it plunges, wiping out savings of thousands of people in mere weeks. Here we are about to get out of the box of normal financial strategies. Let me introduce the crypto sphere, and especially the sector of decentralized finance. I know what you may think. Oh, cryptocurrencies are risky. Yes, they are. People lose all money there. Well, sure, it happens sometimes. But here we seek financial freedom. Freedom exists where frontier lies. And right now, the crypto market is our frontier. In other words, at the moment, crypto can provide the best risk-reward ratio among other financial instruments if you use your head properly. Just take a look in your bank account. Do you see at least 30, 50,000 dollars there? If the answer is no, and you still want some passive income? Come aboard! Now let's cut the crap and go for the options which provide best returns. And I'm not talking about trading, as it's not a passive income in classical way. There's a more interesting option in decentralized finance sector called yield farming. Imagine a decentralized exchange, a bank or a casino, that allocates investors' funds for providing operations on the platform and run different applications which in one way or another are related to finance. So users who add liquidity on the platform get the share of all the fees there. Normal banks do practically the same, I mean using the deposits as funds, but banking sphere is a few hundred years old and is totally settled, while in crypto sphere projects are rapidly developing and compete with each other for user attention and market share. This leads to wild promotional returns on the crypto tokens provided for liquidity, like 300, 400, 500% annually. So, to combine low initial funds and passive income, these are the numbers we are looking for. 
Such returns don't last forever, of course. You should look for relatively young, evolving projects, eager to give so rich incentives. Of course, there is a catch. Several, actually. First, cryptocurrencies are highly volatile, and the token you choose may easily dump 20-30% in a day. Then recover. Or not. A few tips here. Obviously, don't put the money here you need for food, rent and other essential stuff. Look for the projects with some actual utility on blockchains that show fundamental strength and developing rapidly. It may not be the best idea to choose projects that appeared literally yesterday. Here you should keep the balance between young and promising and totally unknown. And last, keep it easy. People who are too serious usually don't last long in crypto. After all, your farming income can soften a price decrease from time to time. Next, crooks, scammers, fraud. Projects get scammed almost every day because human greed has no limits. When someone offers to triple your money in a couple of days, what can go wrong? Ok, no bullshit method how to minimize this risk. There are independent auditor companies in DeFi area who check projects and verify the identity of their founders. Like this, Rockdog. And for your own good, you better choose projects that have passed one or two audits. Finally, hacker attacks with a taste of paranoid fear. Don't happen so often, but are harder to predict and mitigate. Well, for starters, read the materials of project founders. If you have a feeling that they not really care about security or simply acting weird, that's a red flag. As for other efficient ways of protection, diversify your assets. Or, in other words, don't put all your money on one stake. Now you have some tips about how to mitigate risks and ready to find a project for farming. Pay attention to rising blockchains like Phantom, Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche and others. Read some digests about decentralized finance. Don't know where to start? Well, what a coincidence! I know practically a perfect project that fits the guidelines above. It's not a coincidence. It's time for product placement! This lovely project, Potluck Protocol, has real utility in leverage trading and gaming features, outstanding revenues from farming, up to 500% annually, and is present on two major blockchains, BSC and Phantom. What is more, it is validated by two prominent auditors, Rugdog and Desert Finance, with founders' identity verified. The project is developing rapidly, so it's a decent bet to build yourself a good source of passive income. Come, take a look, check our website and community. You won't regret it. Sure, there are other projects to ape in. I've said myself that diversification is a healthy thing in finance. So look around the bright valleys of the cryptosphere and stay strong on the way to financial freedom. If you have any questions, for example, how to technically acquire tokens or something else, don't be shy, ask them in comments. I'll be nearby and answer your call. Also, check other videos on this channel, they will come in handy on your journey to crypto. Like this, about fundamentals of Phantom Network. Hey, look, a button, it's here for a reason, it's waiting for you to click it. One little finger movement. I know you can do it. And for now, goodbye.